Alright, what's up guys? Welcome to your 128th Android tutorial for the new boss. And what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to check if uh, our sensor is updating, we're getting these values, <clears throat> and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll up to our, you know, my bring back class here. And in the run method, this is where we created our canvas, and we created the background of the canvas. And what we're going to do is just draw our ball to the screen, so or to our canvas, I should say, when it's unlocked. So again, this is kind of a quick review of drawing uh, stuff. So again, I'm just going to say canvas, draw bitmap, and uh, and then we have our parameters. What we're going to draw is our ball that we set up. And the left value, we're going to start everything in the center of the screen. So what we can do is we can say float uh, center, center x is equal to again our canvas dot uh, get width divided by two and uh, we can just copy this just copy this and just change it for a y value and get the height divided by two um, that's going to give us our center and height now what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, center x here so we're going to say here is center x which is that float we just set up and uh, maybe like plus uh, our sensor X. And then what we're gonna do for our, you know, our height, we're gonna just say center Y uh, plus sensor X, or I'm sorry, sensor Y. And for our paint, we're just gonna say null. So that's basically gonna somewhat paint our, our bitmap in the center of the screen. Again, it's not going to be the center of the actual bitmap itself, so it's going to be a little bit off. But uh, as you can see, we have our sensor X and our sensor Y added to that. But basically, the problem is this sensor is only, you know, it varies from like 0 to I believe 40 is the amount of force that you can apply to it. So we're going to just kind of amplify the amount of pixels that's going to, um, going to be able to move by like, let's say, 250, something like that. For both of our sensor Y and our sensor X, so 250, and we're pretty much done with this tutorial. Uh, just one other quick thing is since we registered our listener, we want to maybe create an on pause method and unregister it, so it's not always playing. So I'm just going to go to source override, and then just on pause uh, method here, and we're going to unregister it right here. But again, we have to allow all of our other classes to. Um, access a sensor manager so I'm just gonna cut that and put SM here and then scroll up to the top of our class and paste it there so now we can refer to that SM within our pause, me pause method so we're just gonna say unregister listener and we're gonna say this for the context um, or for the listener that we're unregistering I realized that uh, after I tried testing it it wasn't working and that's because I realized basically our, our surface view or let me back up. Uh, what I did is I created a new bring back surface called our surface view again because again my bring back surface won't run until we have this uh, because everything is set to false to start with um, until it hits the resume method. So what I did is and that's when it's going to create a new thread that we're going to draw to. So what I did is created a my bring back surface called our surface and then within our onCreate method, um, which I moved down to the bottom, or set content view, I moved down to the bottom. I just created our service to equal new bring back this, and then I just called the resume method, which would, uh, you know, set all of our variables to be true and create that new thread. So if you guys are following along, you want to make sure you want to do that. And then we set our content view after we called this resume method, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh, and also, you guys want to probably go up to this draw, go up to this draw bitmap, and uh, instead of saying 250, you probably just want to do 20. So, uh, all right, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, let me try and get more in focus in this one. Whoa! All right, there we go. Um, so now let's go down to our accelerate class. I just want to quickly show you some of the problems. Um, or one of the problems which you guys can probably figure out how to solve yourself but as you can see as I tilt the ball back uh, it goes up the screen and as I tilt back it goes down the screen 
tilt to the right um, or to the left it goes to the right of the screen and vice versa so I mean it's not that great but at least you guys can see a little bit of the accelerometer and one of the problems that we're going to have is if we tilt it all the way over it's going to try and readjust our screen and it's not going to like that and force close our program so you can either set the screen orientation to be fixed or whatever you guys want to do to solve that problem but I'm not going to probably show a tutorial on it because I bet you guys can figure it out yourself and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.